Hi, I'm Tim Eber, and today I want to introduce you to how a charitable remainder trust might be able to help you create a lasting legacy here at the School of Medicine. If you uh, would like a gift technique that gives you back a dependable stream of income, and if over the years you've accumulated a rather large estate, then I think this video and this technique could be really helpful for you. Um, let me start off by saying the, the phrase charitable remainder trust is kind of cumbersome, kind of large. So throughout this video, we're going to refer to it as a CRT. And to help us learn more about how a CRT works, I've invited an Indianapolis accountant and attorney, Greg Duncan, to join me today. Greg, Hi, thank you for coming. Sure. What is a CRT? So a CRT is a type of trust that's used to gift assets, usually highly appreciated assets like stock or real estate into a charitable trust. And during the term of that trust, the trustee pays back a dependable stream of income back to the donor. And then at the end of the term, whether that's for the life of the donor or, or a number of years, whatever's left in that charitable trust gets paid to the School of Medicine. Ah, okay. And in your experience, who is the typical client that usually considers possibly creating a CRT? Sure. Usually it's people in their 60s or 70s who have accumulated a sizable estate of their own. Um, if they have children, their children are usually financially stable in their own right. If they don't have children, a lot of times they treat charity as their child. Although we have many clients who, with children who treat charity as their bonus child. So they might treat charity as an equal with their children. And if someone were, if a client were to create a CRT, what benefits might they enjoy if they were to create one? So there's many benefits um, and it differs for everybody. Their situations can be different. Um, but the top three I'd say are, um, you get an income tax charitable deduction based on the um, amount contributed and, and the interest rates at the time. Um, you get back a dependable source of income that could be higher than the asset than, than you were receiving. Depending on the asset donated. Yep, depending on the asset donated. And then third is you can minimize death taxes. If you would, let's walk us through uh, an example with some real numbers here. Let's start with a married couple, both age 74. They have an estate worth over $8 million in the year 2020, and they gift highly appreciated stock worth $800,000 into a CRT. And that stock really wasn't kicking off much income to them, wasn't giving much back in the way of dividends. The term of the CRT is 15 years. And during the term, the annual um, annuity payment, as they call it, is 6.5%, meaning that during the term of that, 6.5% of the value will go back to the donors annually. And in the first year, so again, 800,000, 6.5%, they receive back $52,000 in year, in year one. The percentage, 6.5% is locked in over that 15 year period, um, but the value is recalculated, recalculated each year. So the beginning value on year two would be 6.5% of whatever the asset value is would be distributed back to the donors. And that would continue throughout the 15 year term. At the end of that 15 year term, whatever's left would end up going to the School of Medicine to be to be used for, for purposes, donor agreement, or whatever they've kind of structured with the school. So at the end of that 15 year term, the School of Medicine receives the remaining trust assets and that can be used for whatever the donor directed, whether that be to create perhaps a new scholarship or new professorship that forever bears their name. That's right. Okay, great. Now, Greg, we went through a lot of numbers um, and, and some different words. So I have to ask you, how complicated is it to create a CRT? Creating a CRT really isn't that difficult. The IRS has kind of pre-approved a lot of the required terms that need to be in a CRT. I think the important thing is that the donors uh, perform due diligence to understand how the mechanics of how a CRT works, uh, understand if a CRT is the right charitable technique for them, um, becomes the most important aspect. It's imperative throughout this process that they work with an experienced estate planning lawyer to help them explore um, the different decisions and, and, and options that they need to decide along the way. Okay, Greg, thank you for joining us today and teaching us about how a CRT works. Sure. If you are interested in creating a lasting legacy here at the School of Medicine, and if you would like to learn more about how a CRT works, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.